I'm Miss Joy. I want to say hi to all my TK friends at Burton Valley in Mrs. Bunting's class and at Happy Valley in Mrs. Woodell's class. And this lesson today is on symmetry. Not just symmetry, but bug symmetry. So most living things and a lot of things, a lot of plants and animals in nature are symmetrical. They have symmetry. And symmetry is a fancy way of saying that it's the same on both sides. So if we thought about people and imagined an imaginary line that split us in two, if the line went this way, we wouldn't be the same, would we? We've got legs on one side, a head on another side. But if we made that imaginary line go right down the center of us, if our line of symmetry was there, we are pretty much the same. We have an eye on each side, we've got an ear on each side, hands on each side, legs on each side, and bugs are the same way. So I wanna show you of some insects. This one, you might know this artwork. This is by Eric Carl who has illustrated a lot of children's books, and this is the grouchy ladybug. A cool thing about ladybugs is that their spots are symmetrical. So not only do they have one antenna on this side, one antenna on this side, and one, two, three legs on one side, and one, two, three legs on the other side, but their spots are the same. They're not exactly the same in Eric Carl's illustration. So one circle might be a little bit more wobbly than the other one. But in real life, ladybug spots are symmetrical. They have the same number of spots on each wing. They have this little split in the middle where their wings open. Another Eric Carl insect is the lonely firefly. The lonely firefly has jointed legs that can move around. And look, one, two, three, one, two, three. Insects have six legs, three on one side, three on the other side. Insects also have three parts of their body. They've got their head, they have their thorax, which is like their chest area, and then their abdomen. Their abdomen, for us, when we say abdomen, we think our tummy, but insects don't really have long legs like we do. They've got these kind of legs that come out of their thorax, and then their abdomen is this bottom part. Now this lonely firefly is symmetrical. The same number of legs on each side, wings on each side. If we had an imaginary line of symmetry, it would go right down the middle of that lonely firefly. Okay, here comes a tricky one. And kids usually catch me on this. This is the very busy spider. But is the very busy spider, that's also in Eric Carl illustration, is the very busy spider an insect? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four, that's eight legs, not six legs. The very busy spider is not an insect, it's an arachnid. But I'm showing it to you because it does have symmetry, just like the firefly and the ladybug do. If you imagined an invisible line of symmetry right down the middle, you would see that the markings are the same on both sides. It has one eye on each side, the same number of legs on each side. So let me tell you a little bit about our artist today. We talked about Eric Carl. The other artist I want to tell you about is named Charlie Harper. Charlie Harper and his wife were both artists and they loved to be out in nature and draw the things that they saw. Charlie's artwork was stylized and simple. When he was drawing and painting, he said, if I'm drawing a bird, I'm not worried about the number of feathers, about getting the number of feathers right. 
I just want to get the number of wings right. So a lot of his pictures had symmetry in the picture. His insects, um, like his ladybugs, he really loved ladybugs because they're a sign of good luck. Um, not only did the insects have symmetry, but his pictures had symmetry too. So if he had two ladybugs on one side, he would have two ladybugs on the other side of the picture. Um, Charlie and his wife traveled all over the United States and he made posters, a lot of posters for the National Park Service. So he's a cool artist to check out too. For this project, we are going to use some white paper. And if you have paints, you could use paints. I'm going to use food coloring. So it comes in little bottles like this maybe. And I've got three colors at my house, so that's what I'm gonna use. You will also need some newspaper. If you use just a regular sheet of paper out of the printer, the food coloring is going to go through to the other side and maybe even to your table. So you want to make sure that you've got it on the newspaper. My paper is kind of thick, so when you see my project, it might be just on the table, but it's because my paper is extra thick. The first thing we're going to do for our bug symmetry picture is fold the paper. So I'm going to line those edges up, use my thumb to make a nice crease in my paper. And then, instead of paint, you could use paint if you had it, but instead of paint today, I'm going to use food coloring. So I'm going to make one dot right there on the crease. There's two dots, actually. That's going to be my head. Then, for my thorax, I think I'm going to make some a few dots that go out. I'm thinking about wings. I only need to do it on one side of the paper because when I fold the paper, that's what's going to give us that symmetry. Now here's my last color for the abdomen. And I'll do three dots right there on the crease. Now, I fold my paper carefully and then with my fingers, I'm gonna spread that paint that food coloring around. Remember I've got those wings there, hopefully that are shaping up. There's my head, there's my abdomen, the thorax in the middle. Now you can see the food coloring's coming through a little bit. It's a good idea to have a little bit of newspaper underneath because this paper is a little bit thick. Yours may be thinner. Okay, here's my bug, my symmetrical bug. Now we need to let this dry and then we'll add some details. Okay, so now my bug has dried. I've given it some time to dry. Now I'm going to add details that make it look more like my bug. I'm using a sharpie. Again, you might want to have paper underneath your paper so it doesn't bleed through. I'm giving my bug some eyes. I like how this part, I think, already looks like an antenna. This looks like a little mouth to me on my bug, but I think I'm gonna connect this part, and we're trying to make our sides look symmetrical, the same on both sides. These, to me, look like wings these pretty wings. I might even add to my wings. I might add to those wings. And I want to make sure that whatever I do on one side, I do on the other side too. Now remember we said insects have six legs. So I'm not gonna draw six legs on this side six legs on this side. I'm just going to give it six legs all together. So that means three over here. I'm going to make mine a little jointed leg. One and one over here. Going for symmetrical. Here's another one. And another one. 
And where's my third set gonna go? I didn't come right there. Maybe that third set. It'll look like my little bug is waving or saying, hooray. Now, my insect has one, two, three, four, five, six legs, like every insect does. I used my food coloring to make a symmetrical insect. That means if you split it down the middle, it's the same on each side. Now, I did another one that was a little tester. This one looks more like a blob. This was my first try, but I like it because I think it looks kind of like a beetle. So for this one, I'm picturing the legs on the bottom, but what if I gave this one spots? If I make three spots on this side, how many spots will I need on the other side? That's right, three. We want it to be symmetrical. The same on both sides. I've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Give my bug some eyes. Maybe I'll make some little legs showing Three on that side, three on that side, and I think I'm gonna give my bug some curly antenna too. All right, so even if yours doesn't have wings like this one does, where I spread out the food coloring, this one, my food coloring was closer together, but it still can be turned into a bug with symmetry, just more of a ladybug or a beetle kind of a bug. We always like to end our lessons with a story. This one is The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. See if you notice some of those insects with a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower? The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, word a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, 
but nothing happened, not a sound. A Lunamoth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the Luna Moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. I hope you enjoyed trying out some bug symmetry. See you next time.